What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my almost ending Let's Play of WWE SmackDown. Here comes the pain, the PS2 game, playing it on a PC emulator with an Xbox One controller because I don't know reasons. It is SmackDown in Washington, D.C., which was where SmackDown actually was last night. So that's cool. Uh, third week of February, and I'm pretty sure we have a tag match, but our tag team partner, A-Train, was injured or attacked backstage, so, you know, that's gonna be either a two-on-one situation, or perhaps someone else will help me out. Eddie, about last week, did you attack A-Train? Well, I know what you're gonna say, you think I attacked A-Train. Yep, that's what, that's the question, that's the burning question everybody has. Did you assault the man with the penis piercing. Did you? No, I didn't. And there's no evidence to show that I did. Even though, you know, my entire thing is lie, cheat, and steal. So certainly lying, uh, a big part of that. Just an unfortunate situation, S.A. Don't get me wrong, slug. I still want a fair fight. So, alright, so it's a, it's a handicap match. Two on one match tonight. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. And then that weird, like, stare down, and then he walks away. I don't understand that. And then Cole looks all like, huh? Is there anyone? Nope. I don't even know why I ask anymore. I don't even know why I ask anymore. There's never anybody backstage, because I am so many different champions at this point. Taker vs. Iron Sheik. Another one on tag match with Brock Lesnar fighting uh, the world's greatest tag team, Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas. So, that's cool. Meanwhile, I'm just getting screwed over here, so, is what it is. I'm pretty sure Brock Lesnar could handle Shelton and Charlie. Just saying. Oh, we have a cutscene. Matches hasn't even started yet. We have a cutscene. Uh, what's going on here? What? Am I not coming out? Did someone attack me backstage? Oh, wait. What? Brock Lesnar, my opponent for WrestleMania, who just fought a one-on-two tag match against, uh, you know, World Wrestling Tag Team, Oh, Brock Lesnar, my tag team partner. How will they coexist? How will they coexist? What's this fucking beeping outside, goddammit? Well, I guess I do have a tag team partner for this match. I have the po greatest possible tag team partner. Your boy, Bork Laser. Jerry the King Lawler, are you fucking blind? You don't know how much help he could be? He's Brock Lesnar! Alright, yep. Tag team match player. Holla holla. Alright, thuggin' and buggin' here, uh, on SmackDown in DC, which is where that was last night. And yes, I watched SmackDown this morning, um, and watched Raw last night, so I kind of have a good feeling of, you know, what's been going on on TV lately. And man, having actually watched Raw now, uh, number one, outside of those tag matches, it was pretty dreadful. Uh, number two, how much fucking talking, like, how long was that damn Rusev segment with Big Cass, and how long was that Owens uh, deal on the Rollins Report, and you still couldn't fit Emelina on that show. You could have had that, that Rusev, Lana, Big Cass thing done in like half the time. They just went on and on and on, and I'm like, holy shit, come on now. Like... It doesn't need to be that long. Like, you understood what the end goal there was, and it didn't need to be that long. So, that being said, it's a damn shame. Also, whatever dipshit writer uh, was scripting this stuff for Big Cass... Oh no, I hit Lesnar! I didn't mean to hit Lesnar! Uh, what, whatever dipshit writer was uh, uh, in charge of that Big Cass promo, cause I, I would hope it wasn't Big Cass himself, um, and fed him that line of, I've got my pants on, where he's clearly wearing tights. Come on now. Like, was that, I'm not sure if that was supposed to be funny, or they just legitimately fucked up there, and were like, wait a minute, he doesn't wear pants. Like, he's one of the, you know, he's, he's one of the guys who doesn't, so what the fuck are you doing? That shit was baffling to me. Baffling to me. Um, anyway. Salt Shaker to Eddie, um, but yeah, like, those tag matches are, are fantastic, how fucking good is Cesaro? 
Seriously, Cesaro, I've been saying it for I don't know how long now, Cesaro is amazing and uh, criminally just underappreciated and should certainly be in the main event scene and is not. Um, instead, more Roman Reigns because, you know, people love him. And yeah, they, they were in Philly, so they were booing the shit out of Roman Reigns, which, you know, like, at a certain point, people do that just because that's what they think is the thing that you should do, not because they actually don't like him. Because certainly, Roman Reigns had some great matches th this year and last year. Like, I'm not going to discount the, the skills of Roman Reigns. But at the same time, you know, uh, the booking, and uh, certainly when you consider... No, get back here! <laughs> when you consider the fact that it looks like they're going to have Roman hold both belts because they wanted to be like Conor McGregor for some fucking reason. You know, UFC shit. Um, that, to me, is like, come on now. Come on now. One, oh, you could have made that me. Like, if you want him to have plus even more nuclear heat, then you put even more belts on Roman Reigns. People are boo- Like, he's just the US champ. People are booing the shit out of him. So, I F5'd him. I F5'd him. He should be done. He should be done. I can't believe he's not done. Uh, that's not quite the Brock lock, but you know what? I'll take it. Tap out. They're going nose to nose. How did they coexist? The pressure is intense. Brock is clearly like like five times my size. Uh, they hate each other, JR. Will they see each other's face again at the main event of WrestleMania? They're assuming I might not win at uh, No Way Out, so... I'm pretty sure I will, but... Okay. I still can't afford to actually put points on anything right now. I need 50 points to put into, into anything, and I don't have that yet. Goddamn. It's the go-home show, Norfolk, Virginia. Let us see what nonsense they have for me in the go-home show. Nobody back to... I don't know, even know why I check anymore. Am I on the card? Possibly, perhaps. Yes! Again with this nonsense. Really? The only reason... I'm not skipping here, is because I want the points. I want those sweet, sweet attribute points. I need them. I need them 100%. So uh, we're going to hopefully make short work here, uh, if we can. But, uh, speaking of SmackDown, live, it was not live. Uh, it was pre-taped. Not, well, it was on a tape delay, because they filmed tri uh, tri tri Tribute to the Troops uh, last night. So... Again, SmackDown Live, not live. 205 Live, not live, uh, last night. But it's the holidays, you know, these kind of scheduling things happen. You kind of, you know, deal with it the best you can. I would assume after the holidays, you know, back to normal. Um, but speaking of what they taped for Tribute to the Troops, uh, we had a backstage, once again, teasing of a S.H.I.E.L.D. reunion, because uh, they were all kind of in the same scene and on the same side on that thing, so I guess that's kind of the one thing as that is going to air tonight, uh, and spoiler, there's a bunch of Raw guys on that, because, you know, obviously it's your thing for that stuff, but man, we've come a long way from, hey, we're going to film overseas at our bases, to, hey, we're going to film in the U.S. at our bases, to, hey, we're going to film it before SmackDown, or after SmackDown, like, what? Yeah, it, it was, it was after, it was, it was after, um, so yeah, that's we, we kind of come a long way from how they used to present that show. Now, obviously, uh, we're in a much different spot in the U.S. now with not having, you know, overseas bases that could support a wrestling show. But still, they were still having it at, like, U.S. bases here in the States, uh, I think last year and the year before. Um, so, you know, I understand not wanting to have to fly your whole crew overseas this time of year. Like, I get that, because that's a fucking, you know... Uh, logistics nightmare, but at the same time, like, you could easily have it at Fort Hood or whatnot. Anyway, speaking of SmackDown, um, Zack Ryder injured, uh, messed up his knee in that, uh, tag team battle royal, and unfortunately, he won. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see actually how damaged his knee is, uh, and whether or not they're gonna actually fight, uh, the Wyatts on, uh, Sunday. No, I'm sorry. Not Sunday. Um, when are they fighting the Wyatts? Did they announce when? Like, they, they announced that they won, but I don't think they announced the date. 
because the next pay-per-view for SmackDown is actually the Royal Rumble, because, you know, there's only one left for Raw this year, so, um, I'm, like, you know, if it's not hurt that bad, and they can, you know, uh, and they can take it easy on Ryder for a bit, then, uh, certainly, uh, they can have him, you know, uh, go after it at the, fe at the February, um, pay-per-view for SmackDown, or just on SmackDown in a few weeks, I don't know, um, but, uh, perhaps that was for that December 27th show, which is gonna have AJ Styles defending against Dolph Ziggler, uh, and also, uh, you know, in a pertinent bit of the news section, uh, the return of the face who runs the place, December 27th, so, be real curious, uh, to see how they handle Cena, and any of the Cena interactions on that show, uh, and I think a lot of that is going to hinge on whether or not Taker is going to be healthy enough to work AJ at the Royal Rumble. And at this point, I think nobody knows, so we'll see. So it might be AJ and Cena again, and it might be, you know, uh, AJ and Taker, and they'll have Cena, you know, doing something else. But in any event, you know AJ's not going to lose the belt to Ziggler on the last SmackDown of the year, because... At the end of the year, you, you spin your wheels, you know? Like, certainly, uh, it is possible to have Roman win at the pay-per-view. But for a SmackDown, or, you know, or for a Raw, that late into the year, when, you know, you're getting ready to have all your stuff set up for the Rumble, and, you know, to work, you know, the Road to WrestleMania, that's not gonna happen. Really? Really? One count, motherfucker. I don't think so. I don't think so. So, yeah, I'm very curious to see how they're gonna handle that stuff, and if... We'll see Taker on that show as well. You never know. Um, anything can happen. Truly, anything can happen. Um, and I want to get this match over with, seriously. So many slug splashes. So many. So if I can hit one more move here, and uh, that's going to depend on actually hitting a move here, it's going to land him on his stomach, and then go to the top, and hit that old 630. Boom. And that should do it. One, two, two. Three. Oh no, it's Mr. McMahon. What possible extra stipulation could he be giving here? What is he gonna do now? Each week is getting more and more exciting. Let's listen what he has to say. Do we have to? Well, the title match is coming up soon, slug. Yeah, I know. And you know what? I forgot one thing. What did you forget? What'd you forget? Is it a tables match? Is it a ladder match? Is it a... Oh. Asking me what type of match I want to have. I have a choice of a handicap match or a double header. Which one do you want? Uh, big decision here. What, what would you choose, JR? Boomer Sooner. Well, there shouldn't be two contenders in the first place. I mean, yeah. But I wanted a triple threat. I could have won that pretty easy. So, okay. Handicap... Double header, handicap, so either one harder match or two easy matches. I think that's a pretty simple choice here. Double header. Two matches on one card. Very brave of you. I mean, I beat these guys b both pretty easily, so that's fine. Oh, Vince McMahon is personally going to try to screw me out of my title. Thanks, Vince. Thanks. Appreciate it. You hear that, King? Doesn't matter what Slug chose, either way, he's in serious trouble. No Way Out might be the last time we see Slug with a title belt on. I mean, outside of the other two I already have, so, you know. No Way Out of Canada. It is Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Let's do this. Because after I get through No Way Out begins the actual road to WrestleMania. With the war in the final stage. Extreme pain. These men are beating the hell out of each other. You can see the pain in his eyes. Uh-huh. Hatred. Pure hatred. There's a sick DDT. A matchup for the ages. I mean, there's two matchups. Because there are going to be two matches. So, alright. Sure, fine. And you're no way out. Pyro. Good times. Hey, boy. What's up, Brock? I told you that your fate was already decided, Jimmy Johns. That means that I will take your belt. So he's saying don't lose. 
Just in case you need some extra motivation going into your match. Matches, Brock. Matches. There's two of them. All right. So I like the question mark there for the second one because they're they're not they're they're assuming that I could lose, even though I just literally won this match like five minutes ago. So because you guys just saw this match, I'm gonna spare you the trouble of watching me do it again and win again, and uh, I will jump cut to the part where I win the match because that's not like it's the same thing twice in a row is real fucking boring. So be right back. And once again, the slug lock locks in my victory. You tapped out. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Champion. Uh, for now, at least. Now I'm gonna go fight Eddie with Vince trying to screw me, because, you know, that's what's gonna happen. Alright, my name in that spot. Kurt Angle won that Lumberjack match. Let us go fight Latino Heat Eddie Guerrero. Now, I've certainly beaten... I've certainly beaten him a number of times, uh, so I can't imagine this will be any more difficult than what I've already played about, you know, half a, d a dozen times, if not more. Uh, there was one last, one final uh, news bit that I had seen uh, before I sat down to record this, and that was that supposedly Anthem, who are the uh, new owners of TNA, uh, for those who don't know, uh, have been talking to Jeff Jarrett. You know, one of the guys who founded TNA. And I'm like, wow, it all comes back around, doesn't it? And hey, the years that people consider, you know, like the good years of TNA were like the years before Dixie Carter, when Jeff Jarrett and his dad were running things. You know, not not as much money, but you know, the, those were the good years. So, uh, I'll be curious... You know, if Anthem is just being like, hey, how do we do this? How do we make this in, into a thing that doesn't fucking suck? Please let us know. Because, you know, that's a thing. But, uh, certainly, I guess Jeff Jarrett, I guess that Global Force is still a thing, supposedly. Uh, but, oh, Vince is slow counting it. You cocksucker. Quit trying to screw me, Vince. Not cool. I don't appreciate the... Montreal screw job, if you will. We're in Montreal, so that is appropriate. Um, and Vince does want to screw me here because he's, make, he's made that very clear. Um, so we'll see whether or not that comes to pass. Oh no, the trios! Damn. Damn. All right, well, thanks, Eddie, but I still have a finisher here, and you don't, so. As soon as I can get my ass up, uh, we're gonna we're gonna hit hit the hit the old salt shaker, and that'll maybe be all she wrote if Vince decides to not you know screw me here. One, two, holy shit, three. There you go. Even with Vince McMahon counting real slow, Attack Slug is going to WrestleMania. So, man, if the game would let me hit a salt shaker right now on Vince, that'd be great. I guess Slug has a lot to say or do to him. You better run, Vince. You better run. Slam his grapefruits on the barrier. Yes! Grapefruits! Hey, Vince, where are you going? Where are you going? Here we go. Grapefruits! Oh, he bounced. He bounced! That's great. The biggest grapefruits in the industry. You're goddamn right. He is in some serious pain. Good times. Well, I guess the big grapefruits are now just grapes. Slug defended his title. He's going to WrestleMania. There's not going to be a Jonathan Coachman ending this time. Finally. There are no more obstacles in my way between myself and Brock Lesnar. At WrestleMania. So tomorrow, we begin that road in March in Bridgeport. See you then. I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. And I'll see you next time, right here off this channel. And I'm out!